no, no, this is not possible. I just, this is not possible. It's not. No. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't take this. So what is the meaning of this? What have I done? What have I done to myself? No, I must get my son back. My, I must get my son back. Jesus' name. Amen. Really? I made your favorite for lunch today. Thank you, Sister Junior. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I hope you also made our favorite food. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I didn't. Don't mind that. She's more concerned about Louis than us. I, I guess we just get used to it. Oh, <laughs> baby. Let's go. Oh, come on, Louis. We're running late. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's go. Um, I I will get his two bags. Okay. Yeah. 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 God really blessed you. You have no idea. Mm. Do you know sometimes I feel extremely loved by God mm. for everything? Louis is the apple of my eyes. Do you know sometimes I feel like I'm not even doing so much for him as a mother? Ah, come on. What more can you do? Huh? You've given him everything a mother could. He's in the best of schools. I'm pretty sure he's grateful. But you know this desire for a mother to always want to do more for their kids. Ah, okay. Um, there's this thing I'm considering. Oh. Okay, don't worry. I won't say it now. You know you can tell me. Yeah, but let me have a conversation with my husband first. Okay, fine. If you insist. I'm famished. What did you cook? Ah. Let me check the kitchen. <laughs> Wow, quite a successful meeting, I'm telling you. Yeah, but to be honest with you, I was somehow uncomfortable when the client was asking series of questions. <clears throat> but we managed it. And having said that, uh, we have to do everything in our capacity to make sure we don't falter or disappoint. Oh, of course, now we have never disappointed, and we will not start now. Never now, we never. can't. Um, also, we have to do everything on time. We have to be fast about it because I'm planning on going on holiday with my family. Really? Yeah. When? Um, two months there about from now, you know, just about. We're already processing it. 
thing. Why? Why didn't you tell me? Maybe I would have come along with you guys. As what? As a friend, as a family friend, as everything. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Kelly, listen. This is vacation for family. Huh. Me, my wife, and my son. No third party. So what are you trying to say then? That I'm coming along to share your room or your wife with you over there? I, I haven't said that. You said so. Come on. Coming along means all of us will travel together. As a friends and a family, we'll go over there, enjoy ourselves, have fun. Kelly, go and go travel with your family. Leave me and my family to travel oh. around, Jai Jai Biko. No, no. No, no. Mm -mm. Oh. Thank anyway, you. Fine. It's okay. Um, we have really worked so hard, and uh, we deserve it. Thank you. Travel with your family, enjoy yourself, have fun. Yeah, when you make money, find time to relax <laughs> and enjoy your money, you know. And uh, Jet Avegogi. Jet Avegogi. <laughs> enjoy, I'm so happy for you guys. Let's get to work, please. All right. Let's get to work. So, sorry, sorry Kelly. Yeah. What are you doing here by this time of the night? I just came to check on him to be sure he's fine before going to sleep. Jane, the way you check on this boy, sometimes I wonder if you're his mother and not me. Hmm? There's actually no harm in having two mothers. Yeah, I know, no harm, but... <sighs> anyway, thank you for always taking care of him, okay? Thank you for being there. But I think it's time to retire for the night. Yes, ma. Thank you. Good night, ma. Good night. I know you're not a child anymore, but to me, you will always be my child. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I will not grow. Just like mom and dad, they have grandma and grandpa, but that doesn't mean that grandma and grandpa will come and feed them. So to you, I might look like a child, but I'm not a child anymore. So please don't feed me. Just one spoon. No. Please. Are you going to say no to me? Oh. Just one and I will leave you, I promise. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Yay! I'm happy now. <laughs> Sometimes you act so strange. You will always be my sweet little boy, no matter what. <laughs> Eat up. I can see she has forced another spoon into your mouth. Mom, she's really driving me crazy. Like, she's driving me real crazy. But that's what happens when somebody loves you. They tend to want to do so much for you. And as a mom like me, I just feel like my child shouldn't grow. They can help it. Thank God I'm growing. And very soon, I'll get married and you people will stop bothering me. <laughs> 
Yeah, but it's true. It's true. Ah, uh, don't worry. Just eat your food. We're going to Paris for a vacation, you know. Do you know how long I've been wanting to go for this vacation? But my work won't let me. But thank God everything is just falling in place. Oh. I'm so happy for you guys. You know what, you guys can just go. Just go and come back. But make sure while coming back, you bring my gifts. Are you sure we're coming back? <clears throat> because I'm trying to talk to my husband to see if we can base abroad. Maybe Canada or... Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine, ma. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine, ma. Thank, thank you. How? 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 Clean this up. What was that? I'm confused. I've never seen her like this. What happened? And why did you react like that? Ma, are you really traveling out? Yes. Like I told my friend, we may not be coming back. Is that why you're like this? I've been with this family for long. And I've gotten to love you guys so much. I just got worried that you're leaving. But it's a very good opportunity for you to go out there, get into a relationship and get married. Start a family of your own. It will not be easy, ma. Don't worry about everything. Never say never. Ma, can you not take me with you? I've gotten so used to you. Sorry, darling. You can come with us. Just see this as an opportunity for you to start your own life. See you now. <sighs> what? What did you do that for? How could you? Could you be planning to relocate abroad with your wife and my son without letting me know? Now, where is this madness coming from? Did I tell you I was relocating abroad? Huh? huh? So, why, what, what is all this for? Oh, you are not relocating. Look me in the eyes and tell me you're not traveling to Paris on vacation. Yes. Yes, I'm traveling on vacation to Paris. So what? But you don't think I should know? Definitely before we travel, you will know. We're still processing this thing and it's not yet cast on stone. Oh, it has to be cast on stone before you will let me know. And you're traveling. Huh? By the way, what am I supposed to be doing in this house when you're traveling? Uh, in the house? Isn't that what you do? That is all I do. Well, Cleaning the house. Well. Taking care of the house. And you are intending to relocate abroad with my son. Our son is mine as much as he is yours. By the way, what are we supposed to tell Judith? I mean, how am I supposed to tell her? What? On what basis will I be taking you overseas? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care whatever it takes to take me. But if you are going to Paris, 
I am coming with you. If you're relocating to another country, just have it in your mind that I am coming with you. All right? You're pushing this thing too far. <laughs> definitely pushing it too far. I'm asking. Am I? I haven't even started. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. Try and take my son out of this country without me. Just give me. Oh, she is now blackmailing me. Oh, la. The chicken has come to roast. Mm. Did your parents tell you about the trip? The trip? What trip? The vacation. Uh, what mentioned it, but I don't know where we are going. You're also going? Um, I think if my parents are going, then I should be going too. So you want to leave me behind? What if you people go now and they said you're not coming back? So I'll never see you again. I don't know what my parents' plans are. Maybe if we're going or not. Or if we're going to stay there or we'll come back. I'm sure I can manage. But if they're not taking you with us, then there must be a reason. I want to go with you, Louis. Then tell mommy. I'm sure she's going to listen to you. What if she doesn't? Will you talk to her for me? If she doesn't, then you have to accept it. Okay, I'll talk to her for you. If that's what you want. I know she doesn't make decisions too fast, but if she makes one, she stands by it. <laughs> Let me talk you in. Good night, bestie. Thank you, and good night. Honey, mm -hmm. do you know Jane found out that we'll be traveling for a vacation and she became apprehensive? She practically dropped the glass of water she was bringing for choice. She did? Yes. I had to confront her to be sure nothing is wrong. And then she said she's gotten used to us as a family. She wants to be with us over there. Can you believe that? <laughs> and what did you tell her? I told her the truth, of course. She cannot go with us. Like, it doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. should go and start her own life. And I guess the part that really got her mad was the fact that we're not coming back. We're not coming back? Yeah, I'm thinking if we could relocate to Canada or somewhere else. Canada. Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Canada. Oh, <God>. Canada. <laughs> Canada. Canada. <laughs> What's that with now? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, just like you said, uh, she's been with us for about 10 years now. Yeah. And above, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think she's beginning to consider herself a member of the family and maybe want to go with us for just that, you know? So what do you think? I really don't know. But, um, 
Do you want her to come with us? So how far have we gone with plans for the trip? Uh, well, I'm still talking to the agents, you know. Everything will soon be fine. I can't just travel, Dad. Really? Don't worry, you can't wait to have all the fun we need to have. Calm down, son, okay? We're still processing it. Very soon, it will work out, okay? Are we going with Auntie Jane? Because she's still asking if she's going with us. Jane, are you still on this issue? <laughs> Don't mind me. I... I was just teasing him. I only asked him if he would want to leave me behind. <laughs> just for jokes. Nothing serious. <laughs> I've come to terms with it. I'm not family. I don't think she's finding this funny. It's okay. She'll come over it. Don't bother yourself. It's I said. You forgot your phone. Oh, thank you very much. You better start canceling that process. Because if you don't... Not a good idea. Look at it. So tell me. Now she's holding you by the balls. See it, see it. Let me ask you, what will you tell your wife that is the main reason why you want to cancel your trip? What? Kelly, I'm really confused. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do right now. I feel cornered. I knew a day like this would come. Just look at it. She has given that boy nothing but love. And look at how you want to pay her back. Hey, stop it. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to make me look or feel bad? What has happened has happened. All I need right now is solution, not tantrums. You know I love my wife. Really? If you love your wife just like as you said, you won't keep her in that for 10 years. You will not. Telling her the truth will mess everything up. Look, tell her nothing but the truth. She's your wife. I mean, be open to her. My marriage will be in ruins. It will scatter. Look, you don't have any choice here. You don't have any option. The only option here is that tell her the truth or she tells her or would you rather cancel your trip? No. Look, the choice is yours. 
No, I can't tell her. I can never tell her this. It's not possible. How do I tell my wife? How do I face her? I tell her. There's this workload on my desk. I, I really don't think I'll be done with it before our travel date. I don't know. Just meaning to ask you if we perhaps can leave this vacation till next year, you know? Oh, God. But we've talked about this before now. Never to let our work come before family. How do I even explain this to Louis? Because he's already looking forward to this trip. I'm sorry, honey. Um, I understand. And I know Louis is looking forward to this journey. I know, but babe, if we travel, it will affect the company's growth. You know what that means. Hmm. Sorry, baby. Well, um, if that's what you want, I can handle it. I will explain to Louis. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. If that's what you want, it's fine. No, 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 I know you're excited about the trip, but Daddy has cancelled it. Mom! Are you joking? I'm not joking. But why did he cancel it? There's this big contract that he's trying to crack, okay? So if he travels with us, he's going to lose. So he needs this thing to boost his company. Hmm? But Mom! I've been looking forward to this trip. I've already told my friends. I told them that I'm going to Paris for a vacation. I understand. I'm sorry about that. You know what? We are going to talk to Daddy, eh? Daddy has to create another time. And I will also ask for another leave. Is that okay? Well, Mom. I wanted to go for this trip. But since you guys say we should stay, I guess there will be a reason. It's okay. Thank you. That's my son. <laughs> If you didn't tell me you were coming, what happened? I thought you said you had somewhere going to do Yeah, that's true. I had to cancel. Are you okay? You're not looking good. <sighs> See, I'm tempted to say that maybe it's my eyes or my brain or something else that is not functioning properly. But I know what I saw. I'm certain of what I saw. I don't know if you're going to believe me, but I'm going to take a chance. Joyce, you're getting me confused right now. Come on, sit down. 
Talk to me. What is it? Judy, you and I have been friends for God knows how long. Yes. Even before you got married. Yes. And you know me. You know there is no way I will say something that will hurt you and not say anything. Joyce, can you just go straight to the point? I'm already panting. Where is Jane? She went to the salon. You know, because I'm at home today, I just told her to go to the salon. And your husband? Yeah, he's meeting up with some friends today. Don't worry, just put the phone and talk to me. I saw your husband and Jane in a restaurant. Yes, you heard me. I saw both of them just now in the restaurant. Oh, maybe they ran into each other. I saw your husband kiss Jane, gave her some money, got into his car and drove off. Liar. I wish I was lying, but it's the truth. <sighs> but why would my husband want to kiss Jane? And Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me either. That's why I'm here. So that you can explain this to me. I need to understand what is happening. Joyce, are you serious about everything? Oh my life, if what I saw isn't what I just said, let me die. Jen, you're serious right now. Where are you coming from? Ma, I told you I was going to the salon. I'm coming from the salon. That was what you told me. How come you ended up in a restaurant with my husband? What? Were you not in a restaurant with my husband? <laughs> Doing what, Ma? I thought your husband went out to meet his friends. I was at the salon. I didn't meet him. You're trying to say my friend is lying. <laughs> Why would I meet with your husband? If I met him, I'm sure he would have told you. I didn't. But my friend said she saw you in the restaurant with my husband. Do you think she's lying? Ma, I don't know who your friend saw. But I didn't meet with your husband. You can call him and ask him that. Okay, you can go. Thank you. Ma, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Is there a problem? Mm. Okay. Thank you, ma. Hey. Hey, how's your day? I'm fine, thank you, and yes. Fine, fine. Just had fun with the boys, you know. So, where and where did you guys visit? Um, no special place precisely. We just moved from the gym to the pitch, you know, just like this, you know, ziggy, ziggy, zaga, zuku, you know, like the way boys move. So you didn't stop any other place? No. Not even the supermarket to pick up something for me? Oh, my days. Oh. I'm sorry, baby. Yes. But you should have just called me. If you wanted something, just call me and I'll bring it home. Don't worry, just messing around. Let me set it down in. Oh. Um, I need to freshen up. I need to freshen up on the road. Okay, baby. Are you cool?
Um, so, did you confront her? I did, but she denied it. And you believed her? I will not doubt her until I see things for myself. So, invariably, you doubt me. You obviously don't trust me. Not like I don't trust you. But like I said, I need to see things for myself. You better open your eyes. A lot of things are going to go wrong if you do not act on what I saw. <sighs> You know what? Let's just go. I'm not running again, please. I'm tired. Ah! <coughs> Tony, I was meaning to tell you something. What is it? Joyce and I will be going for a vigil tonight. Mom? A vigil? Do you want me to come? Of course you can come with us. But it's going to be cold at night. Does he really need to stay out so late? He is my son. So he can be with his mother, can't he? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, ma, he can. I was just being concerned. Thanks for your concern. <laughs> That's why we have cardigans, right? So my son can put on his cardigan and go wherever we want to go. Don't you think so? Of course, ma'am. You have a point. <coughs> mm. Night vision of a sudden? I'm sorry. I ought to have told you before now, but it escaped my mind. Do you want to come with us? No. Ah, you know, I... Tomorrow is Saturday and I'll be at the pitch with the boys. So, if I go for this vigil, I won't be active tomorrow, so I'll, I'll pass. So Louis and I can go for the vigil. Awesome. That's okay. Thank you. Louis, are you gonna eat some us? Oh yeah. I'm running late. Mm. <sighs> Joyce and Louise are outside. They're waiting for me. Please, just take care of yourself. I will. And um, pray for me. I will. Pray for us. See you. See you tomorrow morning. Love you, baby. Bye. Love you too. Mm. Now she's gone. We have the house to ourselves. Shh. She's still within the compound. Behave yourself. Do you know how long I've been longing for this? Hmm? And have I ever denied you? Have I? I've always given you time and attention. So you don't have any reason to be jealous of her. Hmm. I have no reason to be jealous of her. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has my son. He calls her mom. And what does he call me? Auntie Jane. <laughs> she has your heart. And to you, I'm just... I don't even know what I am. I get a bite of the bread and she owns the bakery. You're shouting. You expect me not to be jealous? Why are you shouting? Huh? You knew this before he came into this house. You knew this. It didn't just happen. You are aware. That's... She owns the house. You don't just want to change everything overnight. You agreed to come in. So what, what's, why try to create issues? Hmm. Because for one... I am the one that gave you a child. She didn't. Even at that, you still respect her more than you respect me. Jane, I will not want us to go into any details this night. I would not want to say things to hurt you. Neither would I want to say things to hurt me. So, please, let's leave this topic. 
You knew this before you came in. So you cannot just start putting up issues everywhere. I think it's high time I took my place in your life. <sighs> I'm tired of being the house help. I mean, I've done this for the past 10 years. It's enough. So, well, what do you want? You want me to tell her? Listen, if I tell her, you will leave this house in one second. Oh, please. Don't try to blackmail me. Because in as much as I will leave this house in one second, you will be without a family in one second. So if you want to play this card, have it in your mind that you are also losing. Copy? <laughs> I know she wants something this night. It's not what you think, mommy. It's just the devil. I have decided not to think. Maybe you should start explaining to me what is happening here. Louis is not coming back. So talk to me, I'm listening. What's happening here? My, it's not what you think at all. It's... Can you people stop repeating yourselves? Explain to me what is happening here. Oh, madam, let me assume that my husband has waist pain and you're helping him fix it. Or is that not what is happening? Yes, but I don't do that with him. Yes, I, I yes. It's a serious problem. So you have lost your ability to speak or explain, right? Mm. What are we even talking about here? I should help you out. Ma? Ma? Baby, baby. Ma? Ah! You must leave my house, stupid girl. Don't do this. I'm begging you. Don't, don't let us do this, please. Let's not invite the devil into this house. Let's find a way to solve this. Please, I'm begging you, Judith. If I am leaving this house, then I'm not leaving alone. Stop it, Jane! And don't you dare go there! Why? You and I committed this crime. And I am the one being thrown out of the house. You are not even doing anything. <sighs> Listen, if you are not going to stop your wife from throwing me out of this house, then I'm going to sing like a bird. Sing like a bird? Clinton, what is she talking about? I, I don't even know what she's blabbing about. Will you, will you just keep quiet? No, 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 I am blabbing. Jane, just go. Okay. This is the point I scatter everything. I am not leaving this house without my son. I don't, I don't understand. Louis is my son. Yes, I am his mother. His original mother, his one and only mother. And Clinton here is his father. You want to have course now. 
Judith! 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 James, you see what you have cost? You see what you have cost? Hi, it's my boy. He's doing good. How do we handle this? We have to find a way. Don't worry yourself. I have it all figured out. Really? Mm hmm Are you getting married to me? Oh, Jane, you know that's not possible. But I, I want to bring our child into my house. How do you intend to make that happen? Your wife is never going to accept our child. If we come out straight, she... Um, she most definitely will not accept him if we come out straight. But with a bit of manipulation, you know, she will embrace our child herself. What are you saying? I want to bring my child to the house and I want my wife to love him like her own child. She will love him. How do you want to make that happen? Leave that to me. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. What is going on? Ah, what is a little child doing under this tree? Who dropped the baby here? I don't know. Nobody is around. Who is so stupid to drop the baby here? I know. Should I carry her? Carry who? Do you know who the baby is? Ah, okay, babe, come on. Oh. Who will come and drop a baby here? Because here is not safe at all. Hey. Hey. Things are happening. Uh -huh. Seriously, people are very funny. Who got this baby? We were just passing by and we saw the child under this Yeah. Thing. And nobody is here. Nobody is here. We can't find anybody. Wait, I'm coming. Don't kill. So if I leave you, you will carry the baby. What do you want me to do? Do you know if it's a plot? Wait, let's wait for these people to come. But this place is dangerous. Mm -hmm. No, wait, stop. They are coming. Good afternoon, sir. What's going on? You don't know, sir. What? We were just passing by and we saw the baby under the tree. Yes, sir. Where is the mother? You don't know. Nobody is here. Nobody's here. I think we should just call the police. That's very right. That's very correct. Uh, but, or, why, why don't we just take him to the police? Eh? Just get him. Let's, let's take him out there. Now that the police has registered everything and asked us to be with this child, pending when the social workers will be here to take him to the orphanage, I'm thinking of something now. Something is coming to my mind. I don't know if you'll accept it. Is it the same thing coming to my mind? And what is that? I mean, if the parents of this child don't want him, we need a child. We can have him. Why are you thinking exactly what I'm thinking? Mm -hmm. I feel this child is going to bring us so much joy. Mm. Let's proceed with the paperwork and have this child as us. <clears throat> well, for me, I, I think he is divine providence, you know. And whatever makes my wife happy, 
I'll buy into it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Johnny. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Because your mom must be very wicked. No. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. So what name should we call him? She come from you. So what am I supposed to do? Stay away from my child? That's not the idea. The idea is for you to come into the house as a nanny. A nanny? <laughs> I don't understand. You want to take care of your child, don't you? You want to secretly breastfeed him, don't you? So it's better you move into the house. So you'll be close to the baby. So I'm to play nanny to my own child. Why you do what exactly? Oh, try to understand this. Just give it time. Think about it. The child is more important to us right now. You, 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 you take care of him yourself. You have an opportunity. Just try to understand this. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. And who are you? My name is Jane, ma. I'm looking for a job. Anything I can do. Domestic work. Please, ma. I just, I just need a job. I can do everything. I can cook. I can clean. Please, ma. I just need you to give me a work and pay me. I'll do everything, ma. I'm good at everything. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, she said, what, what did you say your name is again? Jane, ma. She's Jane. She came looking for a job. A job? Yeah. I think we should just try her out. So what are your full names? Maybe Jane Okafor, sir. Oh, well, that's your department, so... Fix it. Okay, let's just try out one or two things. That's okay. Follow me. I think you're good. <sighs> Thank you, ma. Okay, you know, when you're done with this place, meet me up in the kitchen. So I can try it out with cooking as well. Okay, ma. See how it goes. Wow. This is so amazing. This is so good. You're a very good cook, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Ma. No, 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 that's fine. Um, Jane, can you please excuse us for a moment? <coughs> Me. Why don't you employ her? I mean, soon you're going to resume work. We'll need someone to take care of the house and Louis. So we both can work. 
Yeah, I think she's okay. Mm -hmm. We will employ her. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Um, Jane. Jane. Ma, please come over here. Um, from the look of things, eh, we're going to employ you. Mm. So long as you're going to take care of my child and the house, we'll pay you handsomely. Jesus. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know Thank, what you, this is. Thank you, madam. Thank you. That's fine. That's Thank fine. you, ma. Thank you, sir. Oh. Ma, you don't know what this means. I have a roof over my head, mm. food for my stomach, and money for my dreams. Thank Aww. you. Thank you, ma. Thank you, no, that's, sir. That's enough. That's enough. Just. Mama, I promise I will never do anything that will make you regret this day. I will never disappoint you, ma. Thank you. That's the only thing I expect from you. I won't disappoint you, ma. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank it's you. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hey, just come here. Just come here. Give me, give me the baby. Give me the baby. Baby, baby. Mm. My baby, my baby, my baby. Oh, you're my... here? Yes, sweetie. <sighs> I just got back from work and it came to mind. So I need a hug. This baby has brought us so much joy. Uh huh. <sighs> you can say that him. again. Jane, you're doing a good job in taking care of him. Mm -hmm. She's just awesome. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, baby, do you rather we leave him with Jane or we take him upstairs? No, no, no. I have to be with my baby, Jane. You can only take care of this baby when I'm not around. But at night, I have to sleep with my baby. <laughs> it's all right, Ma. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. We're nice oh, to sleep with you. Oh, my baby. Aww. Good night. Good night. Uh, Jane, well done. So I have been living a lie. Hmm. Now a lot of things are beginning to make sense to me. So you never bothered I could not have a child because she already gave you one. Oh well. You're still talking. Now that you know everything, if anyone is leaving this house, Auntie Nayo. You lie! I say you lie! Clinton and I labored for everything we have in this house. So you have to leave my house. Yes, Jane. You heard my wife. So you must leave now. What? Get out! Clinton, did you just ask me to get out of your house? Out! Enough Fine. of this rubbish. No problem. It's your house, I mean. <laughs> I'll leave. But not without my son. What? Mm-hmm. Just Leave my house! Auntie, give me my son! <sighs> what? Are you going to fight my wife? Okay, give me my son! Okay, you want to call that's my son? Don't rest. Are you not ashamed of the Just look at you. Don't rest. 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 Sorry. Please forgive. Don't me. touch me. You're too filthy. You're an evil person. You're disgusting. Don't come close to me. 
Babe, please calm down. <sighs> calm down. I did what I did for us. You couldn't give me a child. We need a child in this house. So I just had to do something. Don't justify your evil. Don't justify your misdeeds. If you had told me you needed a child badly, I would have gone for surrogacy. But instead, you gave me the impression that I should calm down. You gave me the impression that I shouldn't take off. And it says, yes, you did this to me. <sighs> Please calm down, baby. You see, you, you, you're angry now. When you calm down, you'll be able to understand these things better. I'm sorry. So you expect me to be happy, Clinton? Ten years of my life, I have dedicated taking care of Louis. Ten years of my life, I have lived a lie. Ten years of my life, I was busy taking care of your own child. And under the same roof, you are busy frolicking with her. How shameless can you be? I wasted my love, I wasted my emotions on you. Don't even come close to me because I don't want to ever set my eyes on you. Babe, I, I know you are. I'm just picking you. Oh. You are the one that is mad. Clinton, you are mad. What's the problem? So you actually threw me out of the house because of your wife? Are you for real? Listen, I thought you were smart. We have been caught red-handed. I had to do what I had to do. I mean, there's no escaping it. Judith has escaped invested so much love, so much emotion, I mean, everything, only to discover that Louis is a child between you and I. There's no way Judith will forgive me. She can never. That's why I'm putting up this plan to see how I can spend one or two days in the house and lay my hands on one or two documents. She will never forgive me. That's why I'm doing this. How? Okay, I'll, I'll transfer some money to your account, okay? Then you check into a hotel, okay? Then we can now reason and find how to think well. Then I can find a way to spend two or three days in the house, get some documents so I can make some papers for you. Clinton, I think it's high time we started our own family. <sighs> You, Louis and I. And that's why I'm doing this. Trust me. I'll just go back to the house, see how I can get one or two documents and see how I can make papers for you. Then we'll travel. That's what I said before. Okay? Promise. I promise you. You're the mother of my child, okay? Now come here. Oh. Right, you can have a Just go. I will show me to you. I'll transfer money to you. Just go.
What is there? What happened? I had to go home. I wasn't feeling fine, so I told your auntie here to bring you back home. How are you feeling now? I feel a lot better. Go to your room, okay? All right, mom. What are you going to do? This is heartbreaking. <sighs> Louis is my son and I will never see him differently. I've invested so much in him and I will not back down. <sighs> Jim will not back down either. What are you going to do? If you decide to take this matter to the court, you're going to drag Louis into it and he's going to find out that you didn't give birth to him. I will not let him go through such ordeal. He will never know the truth. I will do anything to protect him. It's, it's fine, okay? Judy is okay. Every stop crying. It's fine. Okay, just take it easy. You need to be strong, okay? Just take it easy. Breakfast is ready. Yes, I'm talking to you. Just to offer some. Don't worry, it's not poison. Your breakfast is not poison. You see, you have hurt me so badly. But my family is more important to me than anything right now. I will forgive you. But you have to promise me one thing. You have to break all ties with her. And get us out of this country. Can you do that for me? Are you serious about this? It's up to you. I'm fine by this. I'll do anything to gain your forgiveness. Then get to work and process everything. We should be leaving in a few days. Shri, thank you very much. I thank you for this chance. I promise you I'll never mess it up again. I will not. Clinton, it's taking me a lot to be with you right now. I'm giving you a second chance and I don't want to regret it. You will not. I promise you, with our son's life, I will never mess this trust up again. Never again. It's your food. Uh, I don't know how I feel like... I feel so, somehow funny, like I'm filled already. Maybe I, I'll eat dinner when I come back. Thank you. So, she forgave you just like that? Just like that? For a couple of days now, we've had peace in my house. Everything has been fine. My goodness. By tomorrow, we'll be leaving. I've spoken to the travel agent and everything is ready. And Jen? You told her you are living with her too? Just to keep her at bay? Who is Jane? Who cares about Jane? I can never trade Judith for Jane. She was just a means to an end. By this time tomorrow we'll be gone. And she will never set her eyes on me again. Never! Clinton, I told you, you are playing with fire. You 
play with fire. If Jane finds out, you are gone. In Lukwa. Who's going to tell her? <laughs> you? No, I will not, but... What you going to do? Talk now. Uh, no, man, I will not. Tell me you want to tell her now. For what now? I will not, but you yeah, so that. she's going to know. Nothing hides under the sun. Nobody song. knows. Is she going to know? <laughs> Nobody knows. So? By this time tomorrow, we will do Jaka. So we get to start all over again. We we'll start afresh. Thank you, Judith. Thank you for giving us another chance. Thank you for making us strong. That's what family do, right? Yes. Come here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Thank you, baby. It's fine. Thank you for making my day. Thank you. I appreciate it, okay? Thank you. I'm a little bit. Hey! Oh, I can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are actually leaving immediately. Yes, our flight is in about this one. Yeah, I was through the set. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'll talk to you in a bit, okay? Alright. Uh, hi, Jane. Hello, baby girl. How are you doing? Yeah. Very fine. Yeah, I'll see you in about two or three hours, okay? Yeah, I'm coming. Just wait for me, okay? You know I love you, right? Uh -huh. I'll see you this, okay? <laughs> such a deceitful human being. You lack loyalty, not even to yourself. We are gone and gone for good. I only play this game with you to get back our passports under your care. And you fell for it. For what you did to me, nature would judge you. I am tempted to what? drive you in the mud, but a filthy man is already in the mud. Bye. No, oh, no, 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 this is not possible. I this is not possible. It's not. No. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't take this. So what is the meaning of this? What have I done? What have I done to myself? No, you must get my son back. My, you must get my son back. <laughs> Away. Where is my son? What are you doing here? I told you I was coming to get you, yeah? In two to three hours' time, where you must have checked into the airport. 
right? What are you saying? Oh, please, can you stop with the act? It's irritating me already. How? You told me you wanted to buy time so you can get our papers ready. But you're leaving the country with my son and your wife. And who's telling you the lie? No one told me, Clinton. I heard it myself. I overheard you and Kelly at the office. <sighs> See, I can explain that. What do you want to explain? See, we shouldn't bother ourselves about this now. We need to just look for her to get our son. She left with her son. I mean, she took her passport and Louis' passport. And right now, we, uh, we just need to find a way to get them. What? Yes. I, I, I was making for us, okay, to get to the airport. Then I find my way to escape with Louis to get you. That was the plan. But she tricked me. She deceived me. You let that woman run away with my son? My boy is gone? She's evil. She's just evil. God! Clinton. Clinton! You have messed my life up for so long. I trusted you. For 10 good years, I did everything you asked of me. And today you decided to ruin my life. I lost my son because of the earth. Of all this. We don't need all this right now. We should be coming together to see how to get our son from her. I mean, find a way to get him. She's evil. And, and you, that's what we should concentrate on right now. <sighs> Clinton. I will make you pay dearly. Trust me, you've not seen the end of this. I am going to do everything possible to get my son back. And make you pay! Hey, stop it! Don't you ever jab at me again! I punch the living dead out of you. You will hear from me. You will hear from me. What is going on? Trees are in green, the ocean is grey, sky is a vague blue, come my way. My womb is a mess. It could use a hand My favorite TV shows to capture in I know I must get it right Must get back in the fight This can't be a surprise I think I'll let it slide I'm sleepwalking through All of my problems, no I can't make it through Every night is the same I keep running fast Left and right, wondering where my head's gone I'm sleepwalking through all of my problems 
break maybe that's why i fade into this bitter taste i think i'll let it be